What's your top tip for our viewers who are starting a home renovation project? So as you can see before Vivica, the, the couple demonstrated one clear concept, which is no research done leads to a potential disaster on the back end. So my tip is generally get as much education as possible, even if that just means calling in contractors to bid and asking them some questions about how to do the project, mm. you at least have a head start where you're kind of learning about things like property line setbacks, where electrical is in your property before you start digging, things that are potentially dangerous and can actually hurt you. If you're educated, it makes all the difference. Online videos are a great start as well. How about, how about like permits? Some stuff requires permits. Very good, Judge, thank you for saying that. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna build where you are in a situation where you need to add square footage to a home, you need to have that property permitted so that it's exactly. recorded with the county and then it, right. it makes sense to make that addition. Yeah. Ariva. Well, we know that home renovations can take a toll on even the best relationships. And we saw today a wonderful relationship. And 12% of couples, you won't believe this, they actually consider divorce oh, yeah. when remodeling their home. Wow. So yeah, okay. the yeah. biggest source of conflict, will you believe this, is paint. Yeah. <laughs> paint, paint color. What color? I've been married 20 plus years and I say to all couples, you know, stay focused on the big picture. Don't Good let idea. the, you know, don't sweat the, the small, small stuff. stuff. Green, <laughs> <laughs> Rosie. You know what, I just think it's so important that we honor and respect our partner's passions. We might not be into their passions, but taking part just really brings you together as a couple and learning to just laugh about things. Yeah. I think it really takes your relationship to the next level. Yeah, right. I agree. Good point. Judge Mary. I love a man in boots, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love them boots. Yep. But, uh, <laughs> You know, you got to take precautions. Uh, you have to, first of all, make sure everything's legal. And then next, your safety. Yeah. Um, you need to be concerned about shutting the electrical down when you're working on the socket. <laughs> you know, you don't want to end up flat on your back. And those things do happen. So always take precautions. Yeah. Great, good. <laughs> Dr. Nice. Judy. Well, you know, sometimes things get out of hand and you have to know how to realistically plan ahead. So some project doesn't really just take two days, sometimes it takes two weeks. So just be sure to be very clear in your communication because your partner wants quality time with you. And finally, when you do get into a conflict, people have different styles. Sometimes they want to fight right away, they want to talk it out, sometimes they want to wait a while. As long as you guys come together within 24 hours and agree on that time mutually, they're all set. All right, yeah. agreed. Can I add one more thing? Sure. I've never seen uh, an aphrodisiac like a completed project yes. of a husband mm -hmm. by the wife mm -hmm. watching the shelves actually successfully be installed. Mm. That's kind of the way it works. Yeah. All right, Eric, thank you so much for joining Face the Truth.